Oh. Hey there, St. John's. I didn't see ya. We have just now finished up our first full week of instruction. And this week, we really dove into our academics. Despite the difficulties of distance learning, we had some major successes and achievements in the classroom. Let's take a look. What a great first full week of school. TK in kindergarten reviewed our colors, shapes, and our letters and numbers. We learned so much this week. Can't wait for next week. I am so proud of my first graders and all of their hard work this week. This week we learned about the zones of regulation and what it means to be in the green zone for learning. We also learned about being flexible. Being flexible is so important. Good job, first graders. We've had a great week in second grade. We've been uh, very busy with uh, reading and in math. Uh, we are studying odd and even numbers. The students are learning that the Bible is the written word of God. They have been working so hard. They've been listening. I'm really proud of them and enjoying getting to know each and every student. And I can't wait till next week. I just want to say that we've had such a great first week of school with our third graders. They have learned how to be on time every day to class, how to use their apps, and how to respect each other through this Zoom that we haven't been able to see each other, but yet they miss each other and they have been so respectful towards each other. Thank you, third graders. The things that I like about lockdown is spending time with my family, learning new hobbies, and doing Zoom with my friends. This is Mrs. Gretemann, and I wanted to tell you what a great job the fifth graders have done this week learning about the geography of the United States. We read a story in language arts called A Package for Mrs. Jules, where we studied humorous fiction. The kids have done a fantastic job with their distance learning, and I'm so proud of them. Good job, fifth grade been a great week for middle school. We've learned a lot and some of the favorite lessons that I think we've had have been how to adapt. That we are in this new mode of being distant so there's a lot of adapting that's come with that and I've been so grateful for all of the students as they've been so patient and they're leaning into this distance setting and they're communicating with one another and still maintaining those relationships. Heat from the sun causes liquid water to change to vapor. This week in sixth grade religion, uh, we started to talk about, and you can see right next to me, there's a big pile of Bibles here. We started to talk about the Bible because this year is devoted to the Bible in sixth grade. I'm very excited to get into that with our sixth graders. And um, in eighth grade religion, we started to talk about nine characteristics about being Catholic. Especially in Europe, we have new technologies that are going to allow connections between these civilizations and cultures. So science cannot explain more about religion or our faith, but faith can explain science because God created science. One more time. Our Father, who art in heaven. What an informative and fruitful week we have had. Two weeks ago, Mrs. Nakagami mentioned how Nightly News was returning. Now, did you know that Nightly News actually began in the year of 2015-2016 with our former student council president and graduate of class of 2017, Josie Ang? Hi. Hi. <laughs> what was your favorite part of doing Nightly News? Uh, definitely recording it and editing on an iPad mini. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at some of the clips from Josie Ang's Nightly News. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Nightly News. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Nightly News. All the volleyball teams um, come and get introduced. And so this is basically how my class did it. So they had like ribbons so we can like, hey, what's up? On October 4th, we have Blessing of the Animals. See you next episode. Bring your cans for Eco-Friendly Friday because there's so much watching this episode and I will see you next time.
We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Nightly News with our cameo from Josie Ang of the class of 2017. For more information, you can contact us below or visit us at sjbs.org. We'll see you next week.